how do you build graphical user interfaces or GUIs using Python? Super important question for any uh, Python developer who wants to build native applications. And in this video, I wanna give you a quick overview of some of the more popular uh, packages and options out there you can use to write and build GUI applications using Python. So the first framework I wanna talk about here is uh, part of the Python standard library. It's called uh, TK Inter or Tickle Inter. Um, and it is a, uh, a platform independent windowing toolkit. So you can use that to build simple um, simple applications, simple GUI applications in a, in a cross-platform way. So these are going to work on any graphical platform that Python works on, that Python is available on. And this is built into the standard library. Um, to be honest, it's maybe not a very enjoyable library to work with, but it's definitely an option. So check out the TK Inter module in the standard library. The second option I want to show you is called PyQt or PyQt. So the PyQt library is um, a third-party library that provides Python bindings for the Qt or Qt framework. Um, that is an application framework that allows you to build cross-platform GUIs and they will be native looking. So PyQt or PyQt, however you want to pronounce it, um, can be a great option to build GUI applications with Python. So definitely encourage you to check it out. You will be able to build applications that look and appear like native applications on the platform that you're on. Now, uh, keep that in mind because with the next option I wanna show you, um, that is Kiwi, you can also build GUI applications and this is also available for mobile platforms. So you can build Android and iOS applications with Kiwi. However, they're not going to look na like native applications. They're gonna use a different UI toolkit. So your buttons and your controls will look differently. And um, this can be a good or a bad thing. Certainly a good option if you wanna target mobile. And it's also a great framework if you're thinking about building um, games and you want something to uh, to program the graphical side for your games with. So you may want to check out Kiwi if you're doing any kind of GUI work with Python. Uh, it's a fairly popular framework and uh, you should definitely add it to your list of candidates for, for doing GUIs in Python. All right, so the next project I want to show you here is the Beware project and um, there is a, so the Beware project is a collection of different libraries and frameworks that allow you to build native looking applications on, on various platforms, including mobile platforms. So this project is still in the the early stages, but it's very, um, it looks very promising. And I think in the future, this could be a great way to build native applications using Python or native GUI applications using Python. So I would also check that out. To be honest, as of the time I'm recording this video, which is uh, late 2017, I'm not sure if this is ready actually to, um, to do very extensive work, but I think it will be soon. And I think this is gonna be a really, really awesome project moving forward. So be sure to check it out at pybee.org. All right, just for completion's sake, uh, I also wanted to mention the Pi Game library here. Um, it's more, as the name says, it's more meant for programming um, games. So you can do graphical games using Python with that library. But uh, because you can do graphical games, you can also use it to build GUIs. They're just not gonna look like native controls or native GUI controls. So again, similarly to uh, Kiwi, you're gonna have to build your own controls and I think with Pygame you have to do that from scratch whereas Kiwi gives you some pre-built controls like text forms and uh, buttons and stuff like that but you know it might be a good option to write your stuff in Pygame especially if you're trying to build a game which is most likely also a GUI application. All right so I hope this gave you some pointers on the different options to do GUIs with Python. Let me know if I forgot about anything or if you have another favorite framework that I didn't cover, just leave a comment below. And if you want me to cover your own Python question, your Python development question or career question, then also please leave a comment below and I'll try and tackle it in one of my future videos.